This is the Water Sticks Portable Shower Softener. And this is for hard water. And this was sent to me from watersticks.com for review. And this is not just a shower filter. You see a shower filter locally at a store and you probably pay anywhere between $25 and $60 for a small filter. Now those filters do not deal with hard water. They just filter out sometimes chlorine, most of the times they don't, sometimes chloramine, most of the times they don't, but mostly they, they filter the larger minerals and sediment that are in your water. Now in my husband's shower, we have a filter that happens to take care of chloramines and chlorine, so that's great. But his shower does not have a softener. Luckily, my shower now has a softener, which I'm very happy with. This house that we have is about 95 years old and we've always had hard water in this area. We've never had a shower softener for our entire house. It's not only not in our budget, but also the way our house is laid out and how small it is and our laundry room situation, there is really no way we could fit one in, even if we could have one in our budget. So I'm really happy to have a small shower softener that actually softens water and takes care of the effects of hard water while also filters the bad stuff that we don't want on our skin and in our hair. This one actually has a KDF filter. So this not only filters out the bad stuff out of your water and the chemicals and sediment and anything like that, it also has a resin and this works by iron exchange. Now I'm not a scientist, I'm not fluent in scientific terms or how things work. But if you go to watersticks.com, they can explain it a little bit better. Again, on my blog, I will explain at least my experience with this water softener and how I like it. If there's any things that maybe I don't like or what I do like about it. So far, I've had it for a month and I really don't have much to say bad about it. I do have to say it isn't the easiest to regenerate. I mean, it is easy, but you do have to either have someone holding this steady with you doing it up here, or you just have to have really, um, you just have to be really steady and on hand. It's, it is really easy to regenerate. I've just had some issues with not being able to pour everything in here without spilling some of it out. But as for regenerating it, Generally, you can do it anywhere between, you can do it once a week if you need to. You can do it once every two weeks. Some people might be able to get away with once a month. It all depends on how much water you use, um, how hard your water is, how frequently you're using this water. So for me, it's just me using this shower and sometimes my children use the shower. Um, they take a bath or we use the shower, uh, handheld shower. But they're smaller and they don't use a lot of water. So for me, I'm able to get about two weeks of use from this before I need to regenerate. The nice thing is it's very cost effective to regenerate this. You just need to use table salt. So just buy in bulk or you can just use the regular just small amount of table salt that you can find at your grocery store. However, I have found that in the one month that I've, I've uh, been using this, I have had to regenerate it twice so far. And you do use a, a fair amount of salt. I use about one cup of salt and I fill up a jug of water. Now I use a jug of water from my tea that I buy and I don't think I have it close by here within reach, but you'll see pictures of it on my blog on what actually I use. It's easy for me to measure it. You can actually use a two liter or a one liter soda container. Um, I have, I think mine is, uh, I think it's about a liter and a half. So that's how I measure it. What I do is I make sure I have warm water and I dissolve about one cup of salt into there and I put the lid on and I shake it up really well. And then when it's completely dissolved, I pour it into here. So I take off this cap 
and I pour it in there. Now when you regenerate it, you want it to make sure that this handle, see this right here, it's dripping because we just used it recently. Um, you want to make sure that this is flat laying on the floor of your tub when you're pouring the salt water into here. Now you might want to make sure that this is, um, after you've regenerated it, make sure that the cap is on very tightly. I do sometimes have a little bit of drops of water on there, um, and that's if I, I haven't tightened it as tight as I needed to. So what will happen is you let the water come through here and it goes through the resin, and that softens the water, and it's really easy to do. Like I said, the only w reason it might be slightly difficult <laughs> is you have to, um, with practice, it takes, it, it's easier. I've, again, I've only done it twice. So the first time I did it, my hands were kind of shaky because I was holding the, I was holding this steady while I was also making sure that I go in here. Now, I would suggest maybe if you had a funnel, which I do not, I don't know where my funnel is. <laughs> so I had to pour the water in there without a funnel. This up here is the KDF filter. Like I mentioned, you can usually have to only um, buy a new one of these either one or two times a year. Again, that's how hard your water is, how um, much it needs filtered, how much water you're using. Um, several factors go into that, but this one is nice because it does have, and I'm not sure if you can see, it has the months and you can just kind of adjust it um, to, you twist it and you are able to find out um, when you need to um, get a new one because <laughs> you can remember, okay, well, I did it in August or I did it in September. You can always remember that that was the last time that you changed it. So that's really convenient. Another thing I really like about this is the company sends all of the pieces with the water sealant tape. And you see there's water sealant tape here. They had some here and then at the pieces at the top. So it's already pre-wrapped, but they also send you some extra tape, which I also really appreciated because I did need to put a little bit extra here and a little bit extra here. I just took a moment to pause so I could turn it on for you. And the shower pressure is really great. It doesn't have an adjustable head on the handle. However, I don't find that personally to be a problem because I, whenever that I have a multi adjustable shower head, I always kind of put it on the basic dense um, shower pressure, I guess, if you can explain it. You see how it's kind of like Kind of really uh, dense at the top and then it, it goes down a little bit here but it's not like the wider um, rain shower which I, I don't prefer the rain shower just because with my husband's shower he has a rain shower head or something t similar to it I don't know if that's it seems to be kind of like a brand but it, it's one of those type of showers that's really wide and in the middle of the, the water spray, it seems to be kind of open and there's like no water coming out of the middle area. And just for me, I don't feel like the water's hitting me at the pressure I want it to, to, to hit me. And I just also feel like I'm missing out on a lot of water. Now, I mean, that's just personal preference. So for me, I like the simple handle. It works great. I also like having a shower, uh, a handheld shower because if you have pets or if you have children or if you like to shave your legs, it's great to just pull it down and rinse off your legs or whatever you need to rinse. Um, so again, sometimes, like you see a few little droplets of water here, I do need to, to tighten my little uh, screw cap. I recently did regenerate the water, so that's why I am having a little bit of drops there. But here you go. There's. There's the water. I'm gonna turn it off. It's it's getting kind of misty in here and and everything with the door closed. But this is the way the water works, and it is softening the water right now. The nice thing about this company, they do send a little water tester kit, and the tester kit actually looks sort of like one of those old-fashioned um, medicine bottles that are kind of like an orange color. And I was just kind of looking around to see if I can find it um, easily without um, stopping. Here, let me uh, let me go grab that for you. Just hold on. 
Here you go. This is what it is. Um, inside you can see that there's a little bottle inside and what you'll do is you'll just add water to the line right here and then you'll keep adding a drop of the solution inside. The solution kind of smells like um, citronella. I'm not sure exactly what is in the solution. It's some sort of soap solution and also just helps with testing the grains of hardiness. And so what they say is after the first drop, you begin testing on how many drops. So how many drops it takes after the first drop to produce one fourth inch of suds. So that's how they do it. When I tested this without using the softener, I had to do six and almost seven drops to be able to have some foam. And after using the softener, I was able this water softening, um, I was able to just use one drop and had suds, so that was really great. Now, again, after the first week or so, you start finding that your water's feeling hard again. Um, not completely hard, but slightly. Um, so I have been able to get up to two uses, uh, up to two weeks of uses. I'm gonna go ahead and end this video and you'll see more details on my website for my blog and thank you all for watching and thank you for Water Sticks for sending me this for review.